Hey guys, welcome back to Infidelity Stories. Make sure like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into story video. My 26 male girlfriend, 27 female of 4 years cheated on me and is begging for forgiveness. My girlfriend's best male buddy came into town for the weekend last weekend. They've known one other since elementary school, but they've never dated or had anything other than platonic friendship. They haven't seen each other in almost five years and haven't had any communication. I met him on Friday afternoon, when he arrived to our house and we spoke for a while. He seemed to be cool enough, was courteous and nice, and made no sign that he was interested in my girlfriend. She was obviously pleased to see him, but her gaze never lingered, she never reddened, and she showed no evidence of being drawn to him. He inquired if she had anything planned for that evening since he wanted to take her out to dinner and simply catch up. I was skeptical but I've always trusted my girlfriend, and she told me the night before he came that he was harmless. So I granted her permission, and they went out. Then she returned at 2 a.m., smelling of vodka and zex and sobbing uncontrollably. She claimed she got really inebriated, slept with him, and then sobbed and fled as soon as she understood what had occurred. By this moment, none of that nonsense had registered with me, and I couldn't hear anything beyond, I dodged him. I was angry and it took every ounce of self-control I'd ever had to keep from exploding. She continued weeping, went down on her knees, and apologized again. She said that being intoxicated is not an excuse and that she is prepared to go to any length to regain my confidence. The problem is, I'm not sure I want her back. I've never been dumped before. Cheaters, in my opinion, are subhuman garbage who do not deserve forgiveness or second chances. She was aware of how strongly I felt about cheating, yet she went ahead and did it anyway and I can't picture being happy with her since I'll never forget what she did to me. I told her she had to give me access to all of her social media accounts in her phone, to which she quickly consented. I immediately begged her to stop communicating with her buddy, but she refused. I attempted to explain that he didn't respect her connection, but she stated they'd been friends for over two decades and she couldn't give it up. I was disgusted and ducked, and I'm 99% sure we're done. But I adore her and she has helped me become a better person. I want to put all of this behind me and forgive her, but I know that doing so would need the destruction of every single ounce of self-respect I possess. Is there anything I can do to save this situation? Edit. She is completely reliant on me. I pay the bills, and her financial contribution is little, consisting just of occasional restaurant dinners. I own the home as well as both automobiles. She works, but if she were to leave, nothing would change monetarily. I've already determined that I'm not going to take her back, but I'm not sure how to handle the split. Story 2 Wife cheated on me, wants to reconcile. I 100% wanted to as well, until heavier news dropped. So my wife, 30 years old female, cheated on me, 3rd of 4. She confessed to me in a heartfelt letter. During the epidemic, we were experiencing some difficulties. We were so happy together for 8 years that we decided to marry. She began her two-year study abroad program. I'm trapped in the United States, doing two jobs in healthcare. I've had disagreements with her where I shouted at her in public, permanently traumatized her. I pledged to improve on my emotional reaction in conflict situations. But because of our long separation, she had become distant from me. It was also more difficult to communicate with her. I've had to work so hard to get her to notice my progress. In terms of conduct, and I quit smoking which was one of my vices that she claims pushed her over the brink. So, two days later, she sent the heartfelt letter in which she admitted to cheating on me, expressed guilt for it, and said that it had only occurred once. I was devastated and didn't know what to do. I was taking my time and contemplating reconciliation. When I began to discuss the possibility of healing the relationship, she announces that she is pregnant and has been since April. She wants to return home to me and has no desire for the AP to have any involvement with the kid. I was serious about reconciling because I was prepared to let her prove to me that she wanted to work on us. However, the devastating news of this pregnancy has struck a different chord. And while I speak to her, she seems more repentant than ever. And she says she wants to reconcile, but I'm not sure how I feel right now. Is there a certain kind of therapist I can visit right now? I'm about to make the most difficult choice of my life. Edit. I wanted to share the touching letter with you in order to receive your feedback. My pals have all given me their thoughts, but I'd want to hear what you think. The names were altered for obvious reasons. Take note of the fact that she mentions someone called Sasha. 
Sasha is my marijuana connection. I used food emojis in my Venmo payments to him to make it seem like I was repaying him for food. She assumed I was speaking to someone behind her back. We used to have a big argument over it. My beloved spouse, the only way I know how to begin this letter is to express how pleased and delighted I am that you are working to improve yourself. I couldn't ask for more than to watch my spouse and closest friend strive to be the greatest version of himself. It's what I've always hoped for and prayed for all these years and my prayers are now being fulfilled. Please know that, although I understand that I cannot actually affect these choices, I've always been there for you, day by day, at your side, merely weathering the storms with you and trying not to lose faith. Hopefully, we will both be able to reflect back on these moments and allow them to fuel our love. For one other like never before, being so powerful that we could actually withstand any storm while avoiding it together, because we'd be too concerned with being delighted that we'd found one other again. Unfortunately, I've realized through the years that I didn't fully know the guy I married. The act of waiting and hoping for change made me wonder, do I really know the real you? What is my spouse like now that he's sober? The sensation of being with you for so long but not knowing who you really are and receiving this less than likable version of you shook me to my core. It made me nervous. It made me wonder whether I'd ever have the opportunity to really know my spouse for who he is and enjoy that person for the rest of my life. Or do I just remove myself from the circumstance in order to preserve what's left of me? I began to lose hope, not just for us but also for myself, at the beginning of last year. I started to lose myself completely. I began to blame myself for all of the bad things that happened in our marriage. Your smoking habit, anger issues, screaming, lack of honesty and communication in our marriage, and inability to be mentally present, I know I'm not flawless, but I could go on. But it was also during this time when I learned about Sasha. I know the tale now, but all I could think of at the moment was my spouse with another woman, taking her out to breakfast, supper and so on. In my mind I was wondering, what else are they doing? Is there any more Sashas? When did this happen? Why? Adding this to everything else I'm going through. Is it possible that I'm insufficient? My insecurities, despair and anxiety were all at an all-time high. My fantasy of living a wonderful life with you was no longer a possibility in my mind. So I spent the whole year attempting to escape my troubles and concerns, which were the primary reasons for avoiding you, all while frantically trying to keep my head above water. Instead of addressing you, I simply checked out of our marriage out of fear, in every way. I felt because you had, I should as well. I knew you wouldn't change until it came from inside or from sheer willpower. Last year was the most difficult year of my life. I'm actually astonished I'm still alive and breathing. I wouldn't want it on anybody to be in such a dark place for so long, which I'm still in. The only thing I could come up with was to totally separate myself. I was mentally ready to split up with you. My adoration. It's difficult to put this into words without tearing down. I've been fighting for you for us for so long. All I needed was for you to battle beside me. To offer me a glimmer of hope that we may be able to turn things around and I could give you my whole attention. It's the same as before, but better. That's all I'm looking for. I want to do my best for you, but it can't be a one-way path. I need you to be there with me and give me your all as well. My chances of ever attaining it were dwindling. I absolutely lost control of myself. One method was to use alcohol. Being checked out and seeing our divorce brought me to my knees. I made the greatest blunder a partner could make. No matter how much I want to blame you for mistreating Hala and believing you were doing the same to her on a daily basis. I know this was never anything you deserved. Nobody deserves it. Even with the conditions being that it was a one-time affair and there is no relationship, no link to this day, even with both sides completely acknowledging that it was 100% a mistake clouded by drink and irresponsibility. It was so pointless that none of us can remember it. To the point that neither of us would ever talk of it again, preferring to go on with our lives as if nothing had occurred. But it did, and I'm coming forward to be honest with you because I now have hope for us that I didn't previously have. I haven't been the easiest person to work with. It's difficult to live with myself knowing that Despite enduring all of these adversities, my actions may very well be what breaks us. I'm sure you're feeling a surge of wrath like no other right now. I'd no sense that's how I felt after learning about Sasha. I let my wrath fester inside me, slowly destroying me from the inside out. Please find it in yourself to dig deep and acknowledge that simply by being here, we have both gone a long way. Neither of us has given up hope. 
we're both letting our love for one other lead us through these difficult times, hoping to emerge stronger than before. You are and always have been my one and only love. Even with my errors, I still see just you and have always seen only you. With both of us in a downward spiral, I was dead bent on divorce, until I caught sight of and sensed a ray of optimism from you. That was all I needed to forget about the past and go ahead with you. Despite everything, I have loved you with all of my heart from the beginning. I want to continue to love you, to be your person, and to keep the promises we made. I feel that our marriage can be stronger and that we can be the greatest versions of ourselves, not just for ourselves, but also for one other. The real issue is if you still want to be my person. If you are willing to accept my shortcomings and failures and move on with me. Create the wonderful life we've always desired with me. Before writing this letter, I had to admit to myself that there's a risk you won't be as forgiving as I am. If you decide to split ways, I will completely understand. We've basically been growing up together for the last decade. There have been a lot of growing pains but also a lot of love and joy. Memories that will remain with me for the rest of my life and for which I will be eternally thankful. Everything contributed to our development, at the very least if we can't be the best for one another. This learning experience has inspired us to be better for ourselves. There's a good probability he'll despise me after reading this. But please understand that I'm opening this up to you because I still feel you're my person, my soulmate. I really hope this works, especially now that I can see you for who you really are. I can envision my future with this individual. You have a sober one. You should be at ease. I'm aware that both sides will have to put forth effort. But if you love me enough to see beyond my faults and failures, I believe we can be the pair that everyone envies and idolizes. However, if you feel the need to distance yourself from me, please do so. It's something I'll work on accepting over time. I simply wanted you to know that I never gave up on us until there was still anything worth fighting for.